Well, um, the Y90 um, is is a device which could be distributed on the small vessels to the liver. So mainly it brings the active compound here, the radiotherapy, directly to the liver metastases. Whereas if you use chemoembolization, the firmer standard, you have to have larger vessels. And second, you do have to use a chemotherapy, which is still active in this disease. In some patients, we know that chemotherapy does not work anymore, does not work optimally, whereas radiotherapy nearly always works. So it's targeting different vessels, bringing it closer to the metastases, and using the device to transport an active uh, drug or an active method to this, which is radiotherapy here, which can be preferred over chemotherapy. Yeah, acute toxicities, which should be um, of, of our attention, are clearly ulceration, because if you have uh, the anatomic condition that you have a stream or a flow of this metabolite, of this radio um, uh, emboli, to the uh, gastric area, you will have gastric ulcers. However, this only occurred in less than 4% of patients, and that's for me the most critical acute adverse events. However, we do have also to wait for long-time toxicity results because it could also induce liver damage, meaning sclerosis of the bile ducts, etc., etc., as a long-term AE, and we have to wait for these results because patients with metastatic colorectal cancer in first line live long. They have a life experience of more than two to three years, so we will clearly observe late-stage toxicities if they are.